Okay, it's time for the comment response for the Is Vanilla Wow hype just about nostalgia? Uh, the reason the video was made was because recently, with how the classic Wow thing went into beta, uh, Wow has been showing up very prominently on Twitch as like one of the most streamed watched games. So, there have been a lot of people crying that Classic WoW hype is just nostalgia bait and nothing else, and that they'll be bored of the game as soon as it comes out. Uh, which I didn't really agree with. So the video topic was, is the hype for Vanilla WoW just nostalgia? Or is it because the game itself is actually, you know, pretty good or decent? Will it stand on its own? So, a lot of the comments were basically just sharing why they like Vanilla WoW, which is fine and everything, but that's not really what I was trying to ask for. But then again, it was kind of a vague thing. Uh, I'll have to be more precise on what I'm actually talking about in the discussion from now on. So I only have a few responses. Uh, first one, you know, short one. To me, it's just a new game coming out from Blizzard. See, that's a, a pretty good way to do it. Lots of people, uh, a ton of people who like Vanilla WoW, this doesn't really have anything to do with the discussion topic. This is just something that, you know, I thought was a good little reminder. Uh, like to compare Vanilla WoW to current WoW, and talk about how it's so much better and all this other stuff. When really, it's so different, it might as well be a different game. So, I look forward to it as, you know, a new game that's coming out from Blizzard that's very similar to what we have now. You know, like a retro version of regular WoW. Uh, wow on harder mode. It's fun. It's a fun little thing. Uh, comparing it to the other game, I only do that for videos for views. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, But that was just a nice one to share. This next one, oh, it doesn't put these in order. You see, when I screenshot the comments, I think it just kind of puts them in a random order, and that's when I'm reading them in. Uh, so this next one isn't really a question. It says, Mad Season did a good sh video on nostalgia that even you should watch if you haven't. Yeah, I saw the video. Uh, his video was basically just talking about nostalgia and why people like to play retro games. You know, kind of similar, not really the same thing. Mine was specifically about, you know, are people excited for it purely for nostalgic reasons or, you know, because of the game itself. And uh, Matt Season Show's video is just about nostalgia. You know, it's kind of similar, but it's not really what I was talking about. Um, okay, now onto an actual question that tries to address the topic. Uh, in classic, no, is classics hype party nostalgia? Quite possibly. Is it just nostalgia? No. The game has changed a lot since those days. Some of it for the better, such as raid lockouts getting more friendly for players over the years, others for worse, as I certainly don't find leveling in BFA to be anywhere near as fun as it used to be. I'm currently looking forward to classic and will most likely be playing it myself. But I don't feel it is a perfect game. I am far more excited for it than what is coming up in BFA. Perhaps the simplest way to explain it is with a different question. When you feel like playing an older game, uh, one that you or other, other people believe is a good game, is that just nostalgia? If you go back and play something like The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, uh, Resident Evil 4, or Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, or whatever your favorite game might be, is that just nostalgia? It sounds to me like you simply wish to play a good game again that you enjoyed. There's nothing wrong with wanting to play something again that you enjoyed. You see, that's... I like this question. It reminds me a lot of... Like, I don't have any nostalgia for Vanilla WoW, but I do have nostalgia for, like, other old games. You know, like the original Pokemon games, or Metroid Fusion. Like, those were the games I played a ton of uh, growing up as a kid. Not WoW. WoW was something I did in high school when I was too busy to do anything else. Uh, lots of people... Another thing they like to say, along with the nostalgia argument, is that they don't miss, you know, classic WoW. They miss the time of classic WoW when they had no other responsibilities, and they could play WoW all day long. And I think that's, you know, very disingenuous as well. Because it's like, when I first started playing WoW, I was literally the most busy I've ever been in my life. <laughs> I would definitely not like to go back to that time. And I love what I do now a lot more. I have more time now 
even with editing for like all my channels uh, than I did back then when I had sports uh, and my part-time job, you know, and school, of course. I was, I was ridiculously busy. I was just tired constantly. Uh, so, and that being the case, I still like to play those nostalgic games. Like, recently, uh, I bought this little device. I don't know what it's called, but you can buy it off of Amazon. And it's, like, preloaded with every single Game Boy game ever made. <laughs> it's definitely, like, an e- emulator thing. And I went back and I played the Pokemon trading card game for the Game Boy Color. And that was a lot of fun. I you? You know, was it a nostalgia thing? Because I I did play the game back then. Uh, But I didn't play it, you know, because of nostalgia. It's more like, oh, I remember this game was fun back then. And I played it again. And I was like, yep, this game was definitely fun. And I beat it all the way through. Uh, Same way reason I've beaten all the other Pokemon, the old Pokemon games all the way through. Or how I've played Metroid Fusion like a million times because that game is great. You know, and... There was the nostalgic reason that just brought me to the game. I didn't play it to indulge in nostalgia. You know, that's a good argument I didn't even think about. Uh, good question. Good response to it. Uh, next one. Why is nostalgia associated with not a true motive when it comes to Classic WoW? I would play Classic due to nostalgia, and will probably enjoy like the 13-year-old me did back in those days. And to those who say, you'll get bored after a month, well, I've played Classic on private servers and never get bored. Uh, this one also brings up a good point. You know, why is nostalgia associated with not a true motive? Like, can nostalgia itself, you know, just be a motive for wanting to play it? And I think, yeah, that's true. You know, like, would I ever seek out an old Game Boy Advance game, you know, and just play it randomly out of nowhere? No, probably not. But because of my nostalgia... Because I played it as a kid and I enjoyed it, I gave it another try. And it just happened to be that I liked the game. So I guess, you know, nostalgia can be a motive to, like, get started in it. But then the game also has to stand on its own. Uh, And I think, you know, the popularity of all those illegal servers really shows that it does stand on its own. You know, because I tried Vanilla WoW and it was a lot of fun. And I wasn't expecting that. Uh, In fact, I didn't enjoy my first experience then it kind of grew on me, and I really enjoyed what I played. So, I'm looking forward to it as a different game, but I don't have any nostalgic reasons, you know, to have searched out in the first place. So, you know, nostalgia, it definitely can play a factor into it in a way that I didn't think about it. Uh, I don't think it's, like, the full reason for it, but, you know, I also don't think it plays no factor like I did before. Uh, next question. Just nostalgia? No. Some, yes. There's an audience for a tougher, less published game than BFA. Yeah, that's true. Personally, I like something in between BFA and Classic. For example, uh, I love the Mage Tower in Legion. I wish I had free time like I did in college when Classic came out. Then I'd want an even harder game. Yeah, like, a combination of Classic and BFA, that sounds honestly a lot of fun. Like, I was thinking about this, you know, like, if Vanilla WoW you know, is a huge success and everything, and it does well. What if they released, you know, like, a fun server? Because I don't know if you've ever seen, like, some of those, uh, you know, less-than-legal servers. Some of them are fun servers with, you know, crazy things in them, like having random class abilities. Uh, that seems like it would be a lot of fun, you know, if it was an official Blizzard release. So what if they had, you know, like, the gameplay of Vanilla WoW, but also released the Mage Tower, (laughs) uh, scaled down to, you know, uh, vanilla stuff, and they just called it, you know, the Dalaran Mage Tower. Uh, And he just did that, and it had, you know, non-demon bosses in it, but it was still the same thing. You go through, and you, uh, I don't know, what would you even reward someone in Classic WoW? Because, like, you got a reward of a really cool-looking transmog piece, you know, for some classes, uh, what would they even reward Classic WoW players with? Probably some fun item, a fun little trinket. I don't know. Usually they just recorded you, like when you did those long quest chains, it was usually for something. Uh, Mage Tower is a good example of something that's fun to do, but also gives you reward to make you want to do it. You know, if you don't give, if Blizzard doesn't give people rewards for stuff, they don't do them. Uh, 
And, you know, sometimes even if the activity is fun, they just won't do them ever if it doesn't give them anything. And I don't know. That, that seems like a good idea. I like I like this idea. I don't think, you know, it'll happen anytime soon. But if it does happen, I'd be all for it. Um, next, next question, not really a question. Uh, those illegal servers are why this exists. Please stop harping on it. It's like saying, remember those felons from the prohibition while you sip a glass of wine? Uh, this is funny. This is exactly why I say <laughs> I love calling them illegal servers because I know, uh, private server people get mad at that. And it just, uh, it amuses me to rile them up in such a harmless way. The classics, you know, you're not playing on legal servers. So what are you supposed to be calling them? Um, okay. And all right. There's one more question or one more comment. Uh, I started in Lake Cata, so I never saw the old world. Almost from day one, I felt like I was missing something. I didn't know what for a long time. I initially had no idea my experience was different from someone who played vanilla. I've learned from the likes of Hero and other WoW YouTubers what it is I missed, and for quite a while, I thought YouTube would be my only way to come close to the vanilla experience. Nuts to illegal servers. Then Classic was announced, and I've been hyped ever since. Nostalgia plays no role. I'm nostalgic for Mop. That's when I came of age in WoW. I'm hyped for Classic because it's changed to get a taste of what I missed being late to the party. Yeah, this is basically me too. Like, the whole reason I started making WoW YouTube videos was because I started playing the game in Wrath of the Lich King, which means I missed two full expansions before I started the game. So I was interested in, like, everything that happened back then. Like, what? You used to do this? Or, you know, hunters used to have this ability? Hunters uh, could feign death during combat and drink? You know, mana potions didn't have a cooldown? Well, I mean, they did have cooldown, but, you know, they weren't once per fight? What? That's crazy. So I had a lot of fun looking up what I'd missed. And that's what got me into, you know, making videos, because I looked on YouTube for videos about what I missed, and there was none. I was like, how has no one made videos about what used to exist in WoW? Uh, so I would just look all that stuff up myself, you know, online. And then when I finally decided to make videos, I was like, hey, you know, that idea I had, uh, the history of things, I can totally just make those videos myself. And so I did, and that's how I got started into WoW. Uh, and I remember, like, when I first made those videos, I'm pretty sure people... I mean, I always get shit for every video I make, no matter what it is. That's just how it is for, you know, being on YouTube. Uh, but back then, people didn't like the history videos because, uh, like, you know, you don't need this stuff if you played the game since the beginning. Like... They didn't like that people were giving the information without them experiencing the information firsthand themselves, which I thought was like, wow, that is stupid. But then again, I get lots of comments like that. You know, like, how can you say all this stuff in the video if you didn't play Vanilla WoW yourself? And it's like, well, how do you know, you know, Alexander the Great existed if you didn't meet him yourself? You know, this stuff is written down. It's, <laughs> it's not rocket science. Uh, there's many different sources for these kinds of things. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, uh, people looking forward to it because, you know, they want to see what they missed. I kind of fall into that boat as well, except for the fact that I did try it out and it was a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to it because I know it's going to be fun as well. Okay. And that's it for the comment response. There was only a couple of them this time. And again, that's because most of the comments were just people talking about how they were excited for WoW or how they didn't really care. Or just giving personal experiences of the times they played in Vanilla WoW. That's all fine and everything. It's fun reading that stuff. But it didn't really relate to the topic at hand. Which, again, partly my fault. Uh, I kind of just rambled on in my video too. <laughs> That's what I do. Uh, so for people to comment in the same way I talked about it in the video, it seems only appropriate. Uh, and the next week there will be a new discussion topic. And I remember, I don't make you know, comment responses to comment response videos. So, uh, as far as you know, this topic is closed for now unless I decide to bring it up again in the future.